Intermech company would like to present you a new application for Inventor 2015, which implements 3D annotation concept. This application makes it possible for a user to annotate 3D model with all the information required for its manufacture, specify all dimensions with their tolerances, assign roughness to all required surfaces, specify geometry tolerances, write technical requirements, fill in product title block, etc. Let's have a look at the process of 3D model annotating. First, we create main dimensions. Let's select a circle edge on a thread surface. The user can iterate through several types of dimensions for this element and can select appropriate type by pressing spacebar. After having selected the required type, we specify the location of the dimension. Then let's put down the thread length and chamfer dimensions. These are dimension between two edges and the dimension of a shaft element length. Let's create the diameter dimension of a flange and the diameter dimension of hole centers. Please note that during annotation process the system takes into account model orientation on the screen and first suggests dimension type which is more typical for this particular orientation. Now let's look at some more complicated example. We need to create a dimension from shaft end to key slot. We use characteristic point on curved edge as the input object for this dimension. The length of a key slot is specified as a dimension between two middle points of the respective edges and the width of a key slot as a dimension between two linear edges. Now we will create the dimension of the shaft rectangular element and angular and linear dimensions of the flattened surface with chamfer. Then specify several linear dimensions of shaft elements and linear diameter dimensions and choose required tolerances. Now we will quickly create all the other dimensions in order to make a complete annotation of this part. It should be noted that for conical surface the user can switch between cone angle and taper angle of this element. Now we have finished dimensioning and we can move forward to roughness, geometric tolerances and any other annotations. Let's create the sign of the radial runout of the specified surface, assign runout value and point the datum surface on a model. We can see that the system has generated not only the sign of the radial runout, but also the sign of the datum. You see that all annotations are linked to corresponding surfaces by leaders. Now we will make surface roughness on the shaft thread element and on the two other cylindrical elements. It should be mentioned that when you are creating the roughness of the surface, all the surfaces for which roughness has already been specified are highlighted. Now we will create the hardness requirement for this conical surface. Please note that even though any surface has few annotation attributes, all of them are placed on the same multi-level leader. Such a method of representation significantly simplifies model reading and understanding. You can also assign default roughness value. This value will be displayed in the top right corner of the screen. You can write all technical requirements for the model. They will be displayed in the left bottom corner of the screen. Now we can fill in the title block and choose the material for the part. The title block will be displayed in the right bottom corner of the screen. To simplify model reading, understanding and analyzing, there is a special toolbar to control visibility and representation of annotation attributes. Moreover, 
there is also a special display mode of surface roughness. When model surfaces are highlighted in different colors, depending on their roughness values. Using toolbar commands, you can switch the visibility of all annotations simultaneously and the visibility of each separate type – dimensions, technical requirements, roughness, etc. The 3D annotation technology makes it possible to work without a drawing tool. However, if you do need a drawing, you may get it automatically. Let's have a look at how it works. The application automatically transferred all annotations from the module to drawing views and sections. It should be noted that there is a bidirectional associative link between annotations on the module and on the drawing. For example, when we change roughness value on the model, it's updated on the drawing and vice versa. When we change roughness on the drawing, it's updated on the model automatically. Apart from just simple annotating, it's possible to annotate the model using annotation templates, which are created in advance and can be used for all typical elements of a model. The use of annotation templates allows to reduce time costs and to avoid annotation mistakes. The user may create an annotation template for a simple or a complex typical element that consists of any number of surfaces. Any 3D annotation or dimension can be included to this annotation template. Then this template will be saved in the database and it can be used further for automatic annotating of other models. It should be noted that the values of geometric tolerances, roughness, dimensions and so on are automatically calculated when applying the template depending on the real element dimensions and other conditions and parameters. Now let's have a look at how it works. On the screen you can see an assembly of a hydraulic cylinder. We will activate the part which has a spherical bearing in it. In order to create all the annotations for this part, we will use a template called Place for a Spherical Bearing. To apply this template, the user just needs to specify the highlighted surfaces and edges. All the annotations are ready to corresponding surfaces fully automatically. You can see that in our case, the system creates the sign of datum, perpendicular tolerance, and intersection of axis tolerance along with the surface diameter with the correct tolerance quality. The further logical step to the concept of annotation templates is the ability to apply annotation templates fully automatically using recognition of a model's geometry. When analyzing a 3D model's geometry, our application recognizes all the typical design and manufacturing elements that are present in this model and can apply annotation templates to these elements as well. Now we will see how it works using the model of a piston. We have activated the part in the assembly and execute recognize element command. As a result, we get a list of all typical elements presented as a tree. We can see that the system has recognized grooves for seals, ring grooves, holes and other elements. Now let's select some element which we want to annotate using a template and press Apply Template button. You can see that in this case we don't need to point any surfaces or edges on the model. All required annotations are created on the selected groove automatically. Another way of using Recognize Elements command is to apply annotation templates to all recognized typical design and manufacturing elements simultaneously. We will show this mode using a rod part. Now you can see in real time that the system automatically creates all the necessary annotations in the selected part. All annotations that have been created in the model can be automatically transferred to drawing views. An associative link between model and drawing annotations remains. Our application for Inventor 2015 offers a qualitative change of design technology. The essence of a new approach 
is to switch to complete annotating of parts and assemblies models directly in 3D. This is accompanied by the automatic transfer of all annotations from the model to the drawing. This approach allows improving the design efficiency and improves the design process, making it more error-free.